Hey guys, this is Imran from Imstech. This is a quick video just to talk to you a little bit about this awesome new video editing feature that YouTube have put out for us. So, okay, the first thing we need to do is click on my videos. So you click on your username and you click on your videos. Now, we've got this button right here. It says edit video. So you click on the edit video button and you come to this screen right here. Now, we've got two parts to this screen right in front of us. We've got the original section and we've got the quick preview section. So every change that we make will be updated and shown on this quick preview section. Another really, really important part and one of the best things they've done is the revert to original. So at any point, if you feel that the video editing hasn't gone the way you wanted it to, you can click revert to original and it will take it back to the original video. Okay, so let's start at the top. So on the quick, quick fix says section we've got the trim button right here and the trim button what that does is it allows us to trim our video down so you can say if you move it across or nudge it a little bit forward or back and you can also trim it from the top so if I want in my video to be a little bit shorter I can do that and then if I press the done button my video will be a little bit shorter so you can see it's now only 14 seconds what I can do is revert back to original like I talked to you a little uh, a second ago. Okay, so we've got this button right here which is rotate left or right. So sometimes when you're recording with a camcorder, you might have recorded the whole thing upside down. You might have recorded it on a, on a an angle. So what you can do is you can either rotate it to the right or to the left and that gives it gives us that option to do a quick fix. Okay, so you can see my video is now upside down. I'm just going to revert back to original. We've got four buttons right here, which is the fill, light, and we've got the contrast, we've got saturation, and we've got the color temperature. We can move each one, but if we wanted a quick fix and we wanted something um, really quickly just to happen at a nice effect, we can do I am feeling lucky. And if you click this, what it does is it randomizes these four buttons and it gives us an effect. So that's something you can do trial and error. So you can see there's a subtle difference in the lighting and the contrast on the opposite side. Okay, so I'm just going to revert back to original. I'm going to go through each one. So if the, if your video was dark, the original video was dark, you can actually add some light. I'm going to go really drastic. I'm just going to put it all the way full just to see what it can possibly do. So you can see that there's so much more light on the other video compared to the original video. Okay, revert back to original. I'm going to change the contrast now. And hopefully we'll see the difference that on the quick preview video the, the video should be popping out a lot more so you can see it's so much brighter it's popping out so if your original video is a little bit dull you can actually adjust the contrast you can also adjust the saturation so if I drop the saturation all the way down the video should hopefully become black and white so you can see my video has now become black and white I'm gonna click revert to original and this temperature button right here, it allows us to make our video feel warmer or cooler. So if I put make it a lot warmer, um, it should give it an orange glow of some sort. So it makes it seem a little bit warmer. And also you can make it a lot cooler. So if I click this button right here, you can see on the quick preview, it's gone a lot cooler. Okay, so now moving on to the effects now this is I think one of the best things about this is you can just do add a quick effect so if you wanted to really quickly make your video completely black and white and give it that classic feel then you can just hit the black and white and it's been applied and just save your video and that's fine you can also give it a cartoon effect and there's also this thermal one and there's pixelated so you guys can mess around with that that's quite a cool feature also we've got the audio section what you can do is click on recommended tracks or you can actually search for a particular track now these are will all be free from copyright so that's quite a cool thing so if I click on say beefcake 5 so hopefully you guys can hear this in a second yep so you guys can see you can add a little bit of sound you can obviously do a trial and error type thing once you are happy with your video and you've got your sound and you've got everything set what you can do is you can hit the save button and press ok so once you've hit the save button it says sit tight your video editing is being processed come back to this page in a little while so once I come back to this page in a little while 
um, what should happen is the video should be set so okay so what I suggest wait for that make sure you guys hit the subscribe button which is right here if you like my videos I've got a lot more videos all to do with ICT and give this video a thumbs up and also comment on what you think of this uh, awesome new feature whether you think it's worthwhile where how how they can improve what's good about it what's bad about it and so on so just before I leave you guys I just want to show you guys the finished article so just gonna press play So you can see the sound has been added and also the screen has been pixelated. That's the effect we added. Just want to show you guys the button is also right here, edit video.